Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri, and is the world's first single barrel only liquor store. This business is owned and operated by Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution list. That way you'll know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and what barrel picks they have in the works. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers a fully customizable carrying case that allows you to take your favorite distilled spirits or cocktail ingredients with you. Whether you're looking for yourself, a customized gift, or logo items for your business or event, The Bar to Go can help. Check them out at thebartogo.com. Use the number two when you type out The Bar to Go. Did you know Neely Family Distillery now ships its popular distilled spirits directly to you? To order, simply call 859-394-3258. Tell them the ABV Network sent you. And now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we wonder, oh, this is not the one. God damn it, Steve. Well, just do it off straight. You know, just shoot from the hip here. You can do well, this. You do this to me every time. No, I don't. You do this all the time. It <laughs> no, I don't, he says. <laughs> I never do this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over. I'm going to have a pause so that you know to cut this part out. Okay. Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today we're talking about, is Lenny Eckstein the most important Lenny ever? (laughs) He requested the show. (laughs) My name is Miss Becca Sue. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, George Rose, Katie Joyce, Lori Mangum, and of course, Lenny Eckstein. Hey gang, what's up? Howdy. Hey, hey. Hello. Hello. It's just one of those things. You get uh, an email every once in a while. You open it up, and there it is. Uh, you know, can you think of any Lenny that has been more important than me in the history of the world? And I'm like, I start thinking, and uh, I don't know. I put together a list of Lennies. Uh, we'll we'll cover that after the break, and see if Lenny outranks all of them uh, in in uh, you know importance in the in the world. But uh, before we get to any of that, um, Katie said there's something she wanted to talk about. What is that, Katie? Yeah. So I was at a bridal shower earlier today and we did this project of painting signs. Uh, It was very uh, home goods. So we took canvas and painted uh, signs on like wooden frames of, I think, and we got to choose. I think mine was together is our favorite place to be. The other ones were um, (laughs) like, Co- stay get cozy and stay a while or things mm-hmm. like that a lot mm-hmm. like the, the next generation of live laugh love yeah. so my question is does anyone else have like a special like irking of these signs like you see them and your eyes starts to twitch a little bit yeah oh yeah um or is anyone a big fan of them I'm like no i think they're great i would love to have more words on my walls in various fonts um <laughs> I would like to get some more thoughts here it, on this style. It's hilarious that you brought this up today because of the fact I went to a party at um, a house last night. Uh, very nice people. It's always very nice people, obviously. Uh, but I went in to use their bathroom and I just started looking around and I'm like, <laughs> okay. It's like, it was like one side and said like, I wasn't born wrinkled, like above the washing machine, washing machine, and like machine. I don't know, washing machine. I surprised me not drank that much, um, but like above that, said like no. I was not born wrinkled. Laundry, like oh, all yeah. the signs, and I was just like, all the signs. There's so many signs. Are people motivated by them? Is that is that how this happens, or like, oh, that I just don't. hits home it's, for me? I don't Messaging know. is so good there. Yeah. I think that art is hard, whereas words are familiar. Like people are intimidated okay. by actual like. That's fair. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's my guess. Hey, 
Okay. That's a fantastic answer. I mean, I not hard that for way. everyone, but hard for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah, not hard for me, but you know, for them. <laughs> I'm an artist, but yeah. I'm a uh, graphic artist by trade. <laughs> so, That's funny. That's funny. This is friend. one of the reasons. Yeah. Oh. So I have a friend that like uh, twists this around and has these types of signs in their house, but they say like the opposite of the things that they usually say, like the one satirical in the satirical versions says, of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But there are sometimes not even satirical, but just kind of like off the wall and you see it and you like double take, like, did that say what I think it said? The one in the bathroom just says, please don't do Coke in the bathroom. <laughs> it's got a little flower <laughs> at the bottom. Of it. <laughs> That's got a flower. <laughs> that's funny. A little opium that's yeah. funny. That is funny. Yeah. I do like I, I've seen some of them that they're like seasonal phrase here. It, it's <laughs> all it said. But... Seasonal phrase. Yeah, what like about that. all that Ray Dunn stuff where it just says like coffee, creamer? Oh my gosh. Oh god, no. Uh, it's a very his, like, tiny hers. Font. Yeah, yeah, his basic, hers. Yeah, so basic. And it says it for mm-hmm. and it's like and it's on it's on everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. It's like my little, their little sister, yeah, little like brother, a, a and it's like for like all their plates, yeah. and it's like bread here. It's like bread. Mm-hmm. It's like I know it's bread. It's bread. And like some of the like, I appreciate like I like to re like I like to put stuff into different containers in my personal kitchen because I just like that everything fits nice when it's in mm-hmm. all the same containers that can fit nicely into something, and so like those have to have labels on them, obviously. But like when it's just like, like yes, I know that's a butter dish. Mm-hmm. I'm aware. It's and it's so specific. It's like, what happens if you're out of wheat flour? Now you've got just this random uh, ex- ceramic canister sitting there. Now around. you're fucked. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucked. I bet you George Rose has one of those. If you sprinkle, when you tinkle, be a sweetie, wipe the CD in his bathroom. <laughs> now, if I was going to have the sign in my home, <laughs> it would be right next to the door and say, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, one of my favorite sayings when I worked at the jail, every time somebody would come up to me, I was like, go away, you're bugging me. Uh huh. So, you know, maybe if I could put that up somewhere. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then a, a well designed bug on there would be good, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's your, instead of a flower on there, there's a bug. Yeah. Like, I'm not you just... and bugging me needs to be like a little bug. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah, I can have a ladybug. A ladybug of all the bugs. Yeah. Be <laughs> of all the bugs. Yeah. Ladybugs, date, are, hey. yeah, yeah. They're, ladybugs are a bug that people appreciate for some reason. But uh, yeah, you, you you think of a ladybug being in the house, and they get in the house, it can be quite annoying. But yeah. you don't you don't freak out like you do with a spider or a cricket. Even I mean, you see a cricket, and it's just gross. I don't know. I, I hate right. crickets. I don't know about crickets. I, don't, I hate them. Yeah. Everybody knows I'm delicate. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> You're so right. dainty. Yeah. Well, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with George. George, what do you got? Did we shame you into getting something this time? What do you got? Wonderful nectar of the gods. H two O. Okay, water. All right. All right. You're so responsible, George. Oh. oh. Uh, Lenny, what do you got? You look like you're ready there. Yeah. Uh, another one from sea level, although, uh, enjoyed a mm. bit on the way back up. Um, some stumpies old Monroe got my legs terrible. Okay. Today. Old Monroe. Oh. Um, so Brule. good. Creme brulee. Okay. Nice. Mm. Um, I enjoyed a lot of this barrel in my hotel room in the middle of Kansas. Okay. Also yeah, very good. Solid. That, was good. Solid. that could be enough to win. We'll see Becca. You're mm-hmm. next. I've got <laughs> the hill. Oh, oh down the hall, I think. We don't know because down here, knocking things over, knocking everything around. <laughs> oh, there it goes again. That was for show. Um, I've got some Blue Run, some of their uh, their first stuff that they put out. Okay. <laughs> Pushing these noises. Yes. I don't know what's fu- so fucking funny. What is so funny about <laughs> you? Listen, to, listen to the show. You'll hear it's uh, yeah. like <laughs> yeah. it sounded <laughs> like. I blame the condenser mic, I guess, but it didn't guess, sound good. It was no, like a no. grunt, maybe. <laughs> That's actually all I do when I, when I cork pop. I just go. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> that, was that was spot on, actually. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Laurie, you're next. Uh, Lenny's got the lead. 
He's gonna I'm going to let Lenny have it because I have right. another screw top. It's uh, from Bardstown Bourbon Company. They're Pfeiffer Pavit Reserve. Okay. Okay. I've got the Old Pepper here, their rye. This is a single barrel of their rye. Uh, mostly empty here, so we'll see. I don't expect a lot. Don't, don't think I'll pass to Lenny, but let's see. No, nothing there. Oh. Not even second place. I uh, I barely exceeded Lori, and she didn't even go, um, and fell behind George, who uh, didn't go either there. So there you go. That's where I said. All right. Uh, last but not least is Katie. Katie, what do you got? I've got some planters, Ozark Highlands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. It's been nice. opened a few times. We'll see. Okay. Okay. That was good. Uh, but Sorry. not good enough. No, no, not good enough. Second place tonight. Uh, Lenny wins. Nice. Two of them. Lenny. Lenny. Nice congrats, job, buddy. Lenny. Cheers. Cheers. Adam. There's, there's something weird in the air tonight. Mm -hmm. This bottle is so fucking good. Like, I, I drank too much in my hotel room and contemplated quitting because it was that good. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. No, no, that's good. good, Lenny. We think Lenny, you're great. Yeah. Lenny also, while he was in St. Louis, got to try some gooey butter cake, and he thought we we're that was just a ridiculous St. Louis thing, and he actually liked it. Right, it was, it's fucking good. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really okay. it's legit. Mm -hmm. stuff. I walked down the street, sipping a cup of coffee, eating that gooey butter cake, thinking, God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would weigh 40 pounds more. It's uh -huh. so That's what happened to me. That's what happened to yep. me. I yeah. If I'd moved to Buna, I'd be skinny because I, yeah. I don't have the, the no uh, gooey butter access. So yeah, that no is toaster is. ravioli, no gooey butter. Yeah. Yeah. forty pounds yeah. down. That's down. it. No, no pork steaks. So yeah, <laughs> cheers, gang. Cheers. Cheers to Lenny. All to right, Lenny. Well, to Lenny. To our man Lenny. The focus of the show. We'll take a quick break, and then when we come back. We are going to review a list of Lenny's and see if Lenny is the most important one or if anybody's got anybody, another Lenny they think is uh, more important of all the Lenny's that ever lived, including living and characters named Lenny. We'll do that in just a few. Let's talk about the people who make these shows happen. First up is the ABV Barrel Shop. It is the most unique shopping experience in the world of bourbon as the ABV Barrel Shop only sells single barrels, owners Steve Akeley and Jim Fosnott select. With over 100 distilleries on board to sell us barrels, we are home to the most unique and diverse barrel pick selections in the bourbon world. By signing up for our email, you will always know what we have in stock. In addition to the single barrels, we'll have a gift shop featuring ABV Barrel Shop as well as ABV Network merchandise. We are partnering with vendors like Art Eatables and Old Man Bay Signs to bring you unique items you can't find anywhere else. We will also have a 24C classroom where we are offering educational and fun classes like Breakfast and Bourbon, a series where we pair donuts and bourbon, customer barrel picks, and opportunities to learn from master distillers and other bourbon dignitaries. Best of all, we feature a tasting bar where you can try before you buy. All of this is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. If you are in the St. Louis area, please stop by to say hi. If you're traveling in from outside the area, please take advantage of our hotel rates with the Drury Inn and Pear Tree Inn less than a mile from our shop. This can be done via the links in our Visit St. Louis section on our website. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to plan your trip. The ABV Barrel Shop. It's where single barrels live. Hi, this is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network. We're sponsored by the Staven Thief Society. This is where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge a bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification program available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the Society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Okay, let's talk about the Neely Family Distillery. In 2018, I met Royce Neely at an industry event. He started appearing on our shows and we became friends during my frequent trips to Kentucky. Today, he is amongst the leaders of young distillers, leaving their mark on the bourbon industry. A visit to Neely Family Distillery yields insight on their unique family history, why their products are special, and gives you the opportunity to taste their whiskey, moonshine, and creams. Check them out at neelyfamilydistillery.com or visit them in Sparta, Kentucky.
Saying Bourbon Daily? Yeah. Okay, you're listening to the Bourbon Daily. No, your name first. I'm name. Yeah, yeah. Hi, right, this is Jason Souter. And? And you're listening <laughs> to the Bourbon Daily. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about possibly the most important Lenny of all time. Yes, Ooh. we are. Lenny, I, you know, there's not a lot of competition there. I, I mean, any other name here, George, I mean, that'd be, a, you, know, you can think of one right away that, that, that beats him. So, you know, George's are tough or mm-hmm. there's a million Steve's or Katie's or Lori's or even, uh, even Becca's there's, there's famous Becca's and, uh, but uh, man, Lenny's not really. Oh yeah, there's a lot of Becca's. But they, they all have seats. Name, 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 name five. Day, name see. five important Rebecca's or Becca's right now. Oh yeah, uh, a lot of <laughs> lot of Rebecca's. Uh, what, then yeah. you got Becca Sue. So they, they, <laughs> that's one. Sue's. Oh yeah, yeah. But clearly a Lenny's. Now that's an unusual name. Yeah, I think I you're know. selling short though. All the Leonards who go by. No, no, they don't count. Leonards don't. Is count. Is that your legal they, name? They got to go by Is Lenny. It? Yeah, no. oh, of course, it's not Leonard. Not, no. no, it's Leonard. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Leonard. Uh, but but you don't get to know if what they went by. Like, n- do you, if you were to meet Robert De Niro, you wouldn't call him Bobby, even though some people do, right? Mm. Right. I would. I'd walk right up like, hey, Bob. Bobbert. Bobby. Yeah. Hey, Bobbert. Bobbert. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Is like, we're selling short, I don't know, Leonard Nimoy. Um Oh, oh, yeah. I don't think I don't think Leonard Lemoy went by Lenny. He does not go by Lenny. There's What's your Lenny. real name, Leonard? What's your real name, Lenny? It's Leonard. I, I, Leonard, yeah. I, what about Winston Churchill, <gasps> whose real name was Leonard? These don't Leonard. count because it's what they go no by. So just uh, what they go by. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's what you're known for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think uh, he's the most important Lenny of all time. Uh, first one on here, Lenny Dykstra. No. The baseball player slash mm. guy, thought he was a big business. You know, goes to jail for his uh, shenanigans uh, in business. No, do you have no. Lenny from Motorhead on here? Oh, he's Lemmy he though. He, he's matter. not always really. Lemmy. Yeah, that's a pronunciation issue. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone just had a lisp. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. very important. He arrested. is very important, but his name's Lemmy, so it's not Lemmy. So yeah, yeah. we can't give him credit for that. How are uh, we defining important? As as you do, important. We yeah. we don't yeah. define it. We go by yeah. our heart. That's yeah. yeah this th- is that's clearly the, by your heart and soul. This, this isn't this Fair isn't what we have a score you can give it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's all heart and soul. Uh, here's an example of of a character versus a, a real person. Lenny from uh, Laverne and Shirley. I think I think Squiggy was more important than Lenny. Uh, on the oh middle. no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Squiggy was he was the guy. Lenny was not the not, not the big one. Uh, Squiggy was. You remove Squiggy, and it's just Lenny and and Ted, or Lenny and Steve, or Lenny and and Ralph. I wouldn't apply it. Squiggy was the key one there. That's what made the the Lenny and Squiggy team. Keep yeah, playing. you're right. I, I had the two confused. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And he had the funny voice. Squiggy did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I take yeah. issue with this one though. Like in, in addition to the fact that it's not a real person, uh, I feel like I don't know. Maybe like fourth through sixth grade. I had to like. Oh yeah, you, you had to deal with that, their dim yeah. wit and being like, "Hey, where's Squiggy?" I'm like, "Shut the fuck up!" Oh yeah, so, so, to deal with that. Yeah. Damn it. Can you, you flex yeah. any less comedic wit? Like that would be annoying. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, here's another one. Uh, you know, I don't think most people think this guy uh, by name won't recognize it, but uh, one of the great characters, The Godfather, if you love that movie, which I do love that movie, the guy who played Luca Brasi, the guy who sleeps with the fishes, his name was Lenny Montana. He was a Lenny. Mm. But really, it all came, he was a pro wrestler. I, I, he had a whole career in that. And, and that one role, I think Lenny has exceeded him in relevance and importance in the world uh, with the whiskey that he's making. So I think he, Lenny beats mm-hmm. him. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lenny Leonard, he's one of the bar uh, uh, patrons on The Simpsons. You got, uh, you got the, the group. That's Leonard. Yeah. That's one of the top runners here, I think, on importance. You think possibly. Lenny Leonard is, is yeah. one of the, yeah, you think he's, he's up there, huh? I still I think mean, Lenny's got him, but we'll, we'll see. I think so, too. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. But I think that one's actually somewhat of a close one. Okay. Okay. But, I mean, any Simpsons character, really. I mean, oh, they've no. become part of the lives of multiple generations at this point. Okay. It's timeless. All right. The characters right. just keep on giving. Okay. What about this one? And, uh, you know, if you speak to people who are in comedy, they certainly uh, put this individual as a pioneer, someone uh-huh. who dealt with a lot in his life. But that being said, 
Ask someone who's 18 what they think of Lenny Bruce and okay. see what the take is. Yeah. They don't know. They don't know. So, they don't they know. So Lenny Bruce doesn't know. What's okay, up? he's making a comeback though because of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, that show is a, yep. he's a main character in there, and he well, interacts. I've never heard of the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Yeah, well, I've you need to heard. watch it. It's awesome. It's on um, Amazon, right? It is on Amazon. Yes. Yeah, fantastic show, mm-hmm. and oh, he's a maybe. great character in the show. It's a really great. Character. Maybe the show yeah. can bring him back, but I've never even heard of it. So, They're yeah, George, you like the marvelous Mrs. Maisel? <laughs> uh, that's a new one on me. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, yeah. Well, it's, it's bringing oh. the name Lenny Bruce to a whole it new could. set of people. The ladies so I love bet it. Eighteen-year-old girls will know who Lenny Bruce is now because of maybe, it. maybe he had a really tragic life though, and he, did he have actually, a tragic life. I was look, I was thinking about Lenny's, and he's the only one that popped into my head other than okay. Lenny. And I was thinking to myself, like, what what else beyond comedy did he do? And when I googled it, the very first thing popped up was died in the bathroom and i was yeah, like I was oh, that's say, unfortunate probably. died in the bathroom yeah yes. he had yes. a like aaron carter. overdose that's important. That's important. Okay. just like aaron carter gets okay. inspired so sad. generations of comics like yeah it's really pretty fucking important mm-hmm. yeah but but mm-hmm. without uh, miss nasal side or whatever the hell it is uh kind of forgotten in the new this generation yeah, it, it's it, it, part of the importance of being a good Lenny, I think, is that you always have to be immortalized. You have to have to be around forever. And I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if the show revives this guy or not. I don't know. Uh, Lenny Wilkins, certainly, uh, you know, a uh, great career. I don't, I don't know that he was ever the best in his uh, sport as a player or as a coach, but uh, but but above average, uh, certainly, Lenny Wilkins. Uh, so, yeah, a long career uh, affiliated with the NBA. So, uh, I, but I would say that uh, our, our buddy Lenny has exceeded everyone on the list in my mind. The, the last one's a tough one. Here's where you got some trouble, Lenny. The last one, this is where this is where it can all end. Though, though I wish this guy, I mean, he still tours. He's still big. He just, you know, I'd love to just uh, more and more, more great songs. Uh, it's not, yeah, his, his career hasn't been on fire here recently. Uh, it should be, though. He's a great musician. Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's hard to top mm-hmm. Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz is tough. That guy can play. I mean, if I walked around without a shirt on as much as he did, I might top him. <laughs> yep. Do it. Do it right now. You have a point. <laughs> Do it right now. No, you make it Lori's vote. it no, off. No. <laughs> yeah. He had one of those moments in the, in the AB bar- Barrel Shop. He was doing a presentation. And... Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> We got we got this room full of people. We got this room full of people. He wears shirts like Papa. You know, he's got he's got the the fake. Uh, it's not. It looks like it's made out of flannel. It's it's not. It's just like a regular shirt, but it has the pattern. But then it has the 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 pearl buttons that snap. You know, they're not they're not buttons like like this button where you got to undo it. So uh, for some reason he decides he wants to show his T-shirt. So he's doing his presentation. All of a sudden he just rips open his shirt. Like check this out, and then takes his shirt off. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I was- I don't know what was going on with that. He was just well. I was showing people what the shirts were that I had, which I was wearing. Now I could have walked back. You can't contain the snaps like they. Just, was like <laughs> you could have done one at a time, but he did the you know, did, you know and stuck his mm-hmm. chest out. You know, like he's you know, just snaps are just awkward if you do them one at a time because they're not uh-huh, buttons. Uh-huh. You're not sitting there actually doing anything. You just got to awkwardly dunk. Thank yeah. you. Mm-hmm, dunk, mm-hmm. You got that's the only way. I mean, I think cool. you went automatically. Kathy just cool loved it. Yeah. I only sold one shirt. Yeah, only one shirt. Kathy Cool liked it, though. She liked oh, the uh, created a new shirt that says you can't contain the snaps. Yeah. Yeah. I sell more. Yeah. Steve, I've got a Lenny that's not on the list. Okay. I, I, and that, that certainly can happen because I was like, I can't think of all of them here. But who do you got, George? And I think I'm correct on this. And please correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't one of the main characters. Uh, from mice and men named Lenny. Yes. I don't know. The, the yes. slow guy. Yes. That's an icon. <laughs> an icon. As iconic as this Lenny, though. I mean, he didn't have a lot of yeah. speaking parts. No. Mm-hmm. See, Everybody, Lenny's making a case against him here. Yeah. I don't yeah say. But he also did not have tearaway folks. Mice and men. Yeah. <laughs> it, it clicks. <laughs> 
Yeah. This Lenny has a look going. So yeah, he's gotta he's mm -hmm. gotta have his, and he has the, the, the tearaway flannel in both long sleeve and short sleeve. So that's part oh, of his signature look too. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Now uh, I didn't know he was didn't know that. that much. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He accessorizes like that. So here's what I think. Time will tell. Right now, I think you and Lenny Kravitz are neck and neck for the oh. most important Lenny of all time. How the next 20 years of, of your respective careers, because I assume you guys are probably about the same age. I think he's Maybe, older, but you might be right. Let me look that up. He might be a couple years older than you, but but oh, he was 58. Oh, then he's significant. Wow, older. really? I didn't realize that. Okay, I thought he looks I, good. For I him. thought Lenny Kravitz was a 50 ish, so that's actually, I have a lot to work towards. Which I, I you know, yeah, I, I would have thought Hashtag he was goals. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Lenny so, Bruce only lived to 41. Only 41. Yeah. Tragic life, though. Drugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just uh, depression, drugs, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. But he was groundbreaking. He, he, he worked. He was. was one of the first comedians to work blue. You know, what they, you'd say that. So, you know, mm -hmm. incorporating, uh, you know, what yeah. would con be considered bad language, which is just a norm, mm -hmm. you know, today. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But back, back in the day, uh, you know, but you need someone like that to break the barriers, right? To to push the envelope, and then that's how how things change. And he he did it, but it was to his detriment. I mean, his career definitely suffered from it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's it's a personal toll. So, Lenny, th there you go. I think we've presented the case for you. It's all up to you now where you go with this thing and this name. I'll, I'll, try, not, I'll try not Pressure. to just. Yeah, I mean, there's no pressure, but you could be the greatest Lenny of all time. It just, we'll see what happens the rest of the way. We'll be Keep watching. Up with the pearl snaps. I know that Eckstein's the only Lenny I care about. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. Where did we land on the shirt? Which one? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted you to take your shirt off. She said, yeah. if you Maybe Key West. If you, uh, oh, there's an incentive to travel, everybody. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Which I was, you know, Key West, I thought he's going to have a different look in Key West. No, eh, fake flannel down there. Short the sleeve. Time. Yeah, short sleeve, fake fake flannel. He did the one day he dressed up, though. He didn't, he had the, the fake flannel on still, but he took the hat off. So that's, that's, that's serious, Lenny. He was, yeah, well, it was warm out. It was warm out, so no, no hat. So, no, there you go. All right. Well, we'll wrap this one up <laughs> as we always do by talking about where people can find us. George, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? It's Pappy G on Facebook. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> yeah. The other ones get too confused. All right. Lori, how about All you? Right. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Spirited Curves. Katie. You can find me over on Instagram at Katie Proof. All right, Lenny. You can find me and the rest of Deer Hammer on social media at Deer Hammer on the webs at DeerHammer.com, where you can buy our bottles shipped to your door. And you come visit us in beautiful Buena Vista, Colorado. Mm -hmm. All right. Just think if Lenny Kravitz uh, challenges you to like a boxing match or something. It'll be for charity. Well, he, well he's I, old. Yeah. I don't mind losing. I mean, I don't know that I would lose, but worst off, I lost. I don't care. You said you could beat up every distiller, but you can't beat up you Lenny beat Kravitz? Up a 58-year-old Lenny Kravitz? <laughs> I might be able to. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> like, come on. That's a whole other show, everybody. I didn't say but like, I could beat you, 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 you specifically you said, and I quote said verbatim, that. I quote verbatim, I can beat up every distiller in the world. Misquote, misquote. In the I said, world. I would take on, and if I lost, the idea was a bottle trade. The whole concept well, is idea. I don't mind getting the shit kicked out of me. I don't care. For alcohol. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. That, 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 he clarified it, and that makes total sense. Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it doesn't make sense. Who would give me a hard time? It's worse. It's worse. I'm pretty it's, sure he said he could beat them all up. No, no. Becca, how about you? Where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Miss Becca Sue, one K, no C's. For me, I'm an easy guy to find them at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website, that thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out because everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Miss Becca Sue, anything else to say before we get out of here? I just like to remind the audience to please give us a five star review that includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. If you like what we're doing, we ask you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com backslash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. Later. Yes. Peace.
Before we finish the show, let's talk about some great companies that support the ABV network. First up is Moonshine Still Pro. Moonshine Still Pro has a full line of products to help the home distiller. Whether you want to experiment on the stove in your kitchen or you're looking for a bigger setup in your backyard, owner Russell Creed and his team can help. They have multiple still offerings, accessories, and even grain from their partners at Goldstone Mill to assist you in making whiskey on par with your favorite distillery. They can also help you with some fabricated parts you probably can't make yourself if you are attempting a DIY still project. Learn more or order your still or parts at moonshinestillpro.com. Another friend of ours is the Goldstein family at Goldstone Mill. The Goldsteins offer a variety of heritage and heirloom grains to make the finest whiskeys in the world. Plus, they are more than just a grain company. They are truly consultants to make sure the grains they are providing to you or your business meet your highest expectations. Additionally, they work with mills around the country ensuring shipping is as low as possible for their customers. If you are a distillery, brewery, or even doing this at home, Goldstone can assist you. Check them out at goldstonemill.com, call them at 217-254-6613, or check in via email at hello at goldstonemill.com. Last but not least is the ABV Barrel Shop. While we don't get to play in the allocated bourbon game because we aren't selling the other products you have to do to get those, we do have access via our friendships in the bourbon industry to some really cool stuff. Have you ever seen your favorite craft distiller selling some really cool limited offerings only in their gift shop? I'm talking things like the hazmat offering Distillery 291 did for their 10th anniversary, or Neely Family Distillery's Papaw's birthday barrel. They don't have enough of it to send it out to distributors, so they only sell it via their gift shop. Well, companies like Distillery 291 and Neely Family Distillery have agreed to sell us two or three cases of these offerings moving forward, meaning our store will have the access to some of the rarest whiskeys in the world way more difficult to come by than the allocated bourbon offerings with a national release. Yes, they will be extremely tough to come by, but if you're a customer of our store, you'll have a chance to get them. Get signed up for our email or text list over at abvbarrelshop.com so you don't miss out. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.